Hi, I'm Martin from Octoink Chat. What I'm going to demonstrate to you now is the reason why we developed the squeezy fill system to replace the traditional syringe refill method. I'm going to demonstrate the syringe method first. So what you've got is your bottle of ink with your cap on. Um, you have syringe with uh, a blunt needle on. Um, you may have much longer needle which is obviously very handy for getting in to the base there but um, I'm going to demonstrate a fairly standard scenario for you. So full bottle you take your ink in by tipping the bottle over on one side getting the needle into the ink and then pulling it out with one hand which can be quite tricky especially if you've got small hands. So we've got our ink out we've got our uh, cartridge, I've already pulled the fill hole out uh, fill hole bung, sorry. Yeah. So we now push the ink in, pull a little bit out, there you go. Right, just dab the top of the cartridge, get your bung back in. And that's the refilling part of it done, but with a syringe system, you actually need to do a whole bunch of other things. You've still got ink in your syringe, so you've got to push that in back into the bottle. Now, one reason this isn't perhaps ideal is because you've potentially got other contaminants, you've maybe used this syringe with other inks or something similar. So every time you flush ink back in to your bottle of ink, you're potentially putting other things back in with it. So that's not particularly ideal. You've also got to wash your syringe out, your needle out, you've got to mark them so you can use them with that particular one again, assuming you've got one for each colour, and, and you've got to store them all, so you've got all these extra bits and bobs. Now then, squeezy fill system, completely different. What you basically have is an integrated bottle. You have your cap, your needle, and a cover for the needle. Now the cover provides um, airtight solution so when you go to store it all you got to do put your cover back on and that's it so all we got to do now is take the cover off we take our cartridge we put the needle in there the bottle and then all we're doing is squeezing which is why we call it squeezy fill it's easy and you squeeze it yes I know I apologize okay dab off the top of the cartridge so, put your plug in. In terms of finishing up, clean the needle, stick the scabbard on, and you're done. Now if I, I'm not going to demonstrate this, but if I was to knock this over, you've got a very wide opening, you're going to have ink everywhere. Definitely not a great plan. Even if you do knock it over, because you've got a needle on the end, it's not actually going to just pour out. So that's a comparison between the traditional syringe method and the squeezy fill method. Right, one of the other parts to bear in mind with uh, syringe refilling, um, particularly with pigment inks, um, Pigment is effectively very, very, very fine particles that provide you with the colour. They're the bits that reflect. So, in effect, what you have is almost like sandpaper in a liquid form. When you are doing a lot of refilling with pigment inks, you will find over time that the pigment particles will actually be pressed against the side of the barrel by the plunger and they will effectively sandpaper the inside. So, the syringe will become harder and harder to push and eventually you get to the point where you're almost hitting it to get it to move. So you have to replace your syringe at that point. Obviously with the squeezy fill system the only thing you're ever replacing is the ink bottle um, when it's run out of ink. So for pigment ink uh, printers syringes actually are not an ideal solution at all. Right, okay. <laughs>